Hello and welcome to the sixth um, tutorial in this uh, JavaScript uh, series. I in this tutorial we're going to be talking about um, variables once again um, with the data type of strings and how um, you can use strings and, um, and basically the rulings around them. Um, so let's get started shall we? Okay so strings um, basically we talked about previously um, the variable and declaring and initializing um, a variable. Now uh, what we're going to do is going to de uh, declare a variable um, of first name and we're going to use the underscore convention and we're going to say David. Okay. Now okay this is all well and good and um, we have a variable here and we're going to say surname equals Thorn. Okay, let's put them together. Okay, what we have here now then is we are declaring, um, saying that this is going to be um, a local variable, okay, by using the var um, keyword, and then the name of the variable is first underscore name, and the value that um, has it has been assigned with the assignment operator is d a v i d. Okay, that's a capital D, obviously, then an a v i d, and w as you can notice here, we're using double quotes. Now we can also use single quotes for this. We could say then, um, just like this, and we can use single quotes. This would be a valid um, declaration of a string or initialization uh, of a string um, value. Okay, that would be no problem. Now, the thing is, is if you start using, um, so now let's say, full name equals and That doesn't work. Um, let's say, uh, um, right, we w what we want to do is, uh, okay, just uh, let's just do test first of all on here. And we're going to say then um, David Thorne's video tutorials. Now, in this um, variable de um, initialization, we're basically using the, um, the single a quote um, as an apostrophe rather than a quote. All right. Now, because this is between two double quotes, it's perfectly fine. But if we then um, used single quotes and then a single quote on the end, and then here, as you can see, we're we're picking up errors right now because this single quote you can only place um, single quotes with inside of double quotes and you can only place double quotes with inside of single quotes so if we change this to um, to a double quote it wouldn't really make sense saying David's with a double quote but as you can see the initialization of the variable um, is is valid now to make this um, to make this correct we would have to use the, the single quote and I put double quotes on the outside okay this would then be valid but what about if you wanted to use um, single quotes on the outside and then use a single quote on the inside? How would you make that then valid? Well, you've got, you've got an escape operator, which is a backslash. Okay, now, um, when, when it gets read, it sees this backslash and whatever, it, whatever comes after it, it escapes, all right? And escapes basically meaning I'm going to ignore the actual meaning of this one character and I'm just going to use its literal meaning. In other words, it's saying, hey, take the literal meaning of a single quote and insert it into this text. Okay, now single quotes obviously mean something else in JavaScript because they um, declare uh, strings and values, okay? Now, by using the escape character, you're then basically just saying, hey, use this um, a as interpreted, okay, as a literal string. Now, if we then um, come over to our our page, and then we say, or we'll just say, I'll do this here. It's a little bit easier. So say document dot writes, and then we say test, and then we just load the page. Come to here, and as you can see here, we've got. David's video tutorials. Now, there's also a couple of other um, special escapes characters 
um, that we can use. All right. Now we can place them with inside of strings as well. And these, uh, um, the first one which I'm going to show you is the backslash n. This means a new line. Okay. So this will place um, the text onto a new line. Although um, to output it onto the screen, you obviously, you, if you want to use HTML, then you need to use HTML. And let's say at uh, YouTube. Let's just show you what this does first of all. So let's just refresh this. And as you can see here, it only outputs it um, all on a single line. That's because um, it's getting translated as HTML and not potentially um, as JavaScript. Okay, And there's nothing in the source. So document document.write um, is writing um, this text out um, to the browser. Okay, It's doing nothing more than that. And it's taking it quite literally. It sees that um, there's the, um, the the special character here, and if we then use Firebug um, to see what was written here, and as you can see, um, it didn't display the backslash n <coughs> at all, okay, because Firefox translated it in, in another form. Now, if we then um, use the alert and we say test, oh, yeah. okay, now just reload the page. Now, as you can see, it did translate it as a new line. Okay, so it placed the the at YouTube on a new line. All right, so it's nice, it's nice and simple. Now, <coughs> we also have another one which we could use, which is a backslash T, which is stands for tab. Okay, so this will do a tab indent. Um, and so let's just show you what it does. Okay, and as you can see, at YouTube has now been tabbed in uh, one tab. Now, if we wanted it to tab in two tabs. Oops. Tab in two tabs, then we could just reload the page once again. And as you can see, it's tabbed in two tabs now. Okay, so now um, there's a bit of a difference between um, new line <coughs> and return return um, feed. Uh, return like return feed to turn. Let me have a look. Return return return. Oh, carriage returns. Sorry, I don't want to forget that. Carriage return. Okay, this um, this together is basically saying, hey, um, it's going to the next line. Okay, and um, with an R and an N together, this is then a carriage return um, new line. All right. So you can um, let's take this uh, N out just to show you what it does. Let's come back to here. Okay, and as you can see here, it didn't put it to a new line. Okay, but if we um, then put the N back on there again, it then puts it to a new line. Okay. Um, they do have other meanings um, in other things as well, uh, but I don't particularly want to get too involved into it. But these are things which you can use. Now, there's also um, a couple of other ones um, which you can do, um, which is then for uh, backslashes. Okay, so let's just get rid of these. Um, and let's say that we wanted <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's say that we wanted to have a path of, of um, on Windows in here, and we wanted to say Windows, for example. This would cause an error because this is actually uh, means something else as well. So let's just do it anyway. And as you can see here, it did not translate. It did not output the backslash W. Okay, it, it just um, got rid of it because it said, "Hey, take this W and just use it as a literal W." All right. Now, if we wanted to have a backslash, we then need to actually escape the backslash itself, um, so it shows the backslash. Therefore, this backslash is saying whatever precedes me, okay, then use as a literal string, okay, and uh, yeah, just output it as interpreted. We come here, and as you can see, the backslash. If you can just see it, the backslash is now there, okay, and there's only one of them. So that's using uh, escape characters, okay, which uh, can be very, um, very helpful. Um, they are very helpful, actually. Um, so what else have we got? No, don't want them. Okay, there's there's a couple of other ones which I don't really want to, I don't really want to talk about right now. Um, okay, so that's how you can then escape um, characters. Now this can be done um, the same way if you were using um, single single quotes and we wanted to say uh, I am happy okay and we put P 
output it like this okay and then output this like that and you can see here that we then get the um, two double quotes on there nice and simple now if we then wanted to use double quotes and keep the double quotes there as well we would then have to escape the double quotes so as they show um, like this okay and as you can see they're still there as well okay so this is something which you need to take into account and is very important knowing that if you use single quotes on the outside okay then you need to use double quotes on the inside if you need to use single quotes with inside of single quotes then you're going to need to escape the single quotes now for a good example of this let's say that we want to write um, some HTML with inside of JavaScript so let's just say HTML and we'll say div class and we want to use double quotes this time we're going to have to um, use the, the escape character class is test and then we'll just say David's tutorial okay so now let's just do document um, dot writes HTML and then we'll just change over to here refresh this and we can come here and have a look what the source is and as you can see we've got David class of test and David's tutorials so you can see that it, it comes in very handy and this is um, particularly something um, which you're going to need to do is that if um, if you want to manipulate HTML there's a lot of the time where you're going to write your own HTML as well um, to insert that HTML into the page somewhere okay now document write um, it's it's good to use it now but um, really there's better ways of, of um, doing it without document dot write okay um, but now just to show you the other form so if we're using single quotes and we wanted then to have single quotes here we would then have to escape this we would then have to escape this and then we would do it like this this would work exactly the same so let's uh, change the page over and refresh and we get exactly the same thing um, now Firefox has although we use single quotes here on the class you can see that Firefox has interpreted it um, with double quotes just by um, default okay just by convention it's it uses um, double quotes all the time okay so that's um, something which you've got to do um, with strings I don't want to get to talk about um, concatenation really at the moment um, but we can quickly can just can quickly show you if that we want to add um, two strings together so let's go back to first name of David and then var surname of Thorn and we want to put these two um, strings together okay so it shows first name surname um, what we can do is we can say document dot write this so first oops we want first name and then we could say document dot write and a space then we could say document dot writes and surname and so on so now we'll come back over to Firefox reload the page and as you can see here we get a space in between now that's all well and good but we're having to write a whole bunch of uh, code for this which is completely redundant now what we can do is we can just take use the um, the and sign now this is potentially it's it's adding the two things together now this is um, an arithmetic operator now what it does is it takes every, anything on the left hand or whatever it is on the right hand side of it and adds it to what is on the left hand side of it now at that time it checks to see what data type it is and when it looks over to the left and it sees it's of data type string and then it looks to the right hand side hey it says hey this is of data type string as well then what it does is it just basically puts them all in one line and it sticks them all together so we we'll say surname and we have a look what the output is okay, come here and as you can see it's just put David Thorne all together without a space in the middle that's basically because we haven't told it to put a space in the middle now what we can do from there would be logical then just to stick a space in the middle and that's all we're doing we're saying hey first name and then plus a space and then plus then surname okay and we come back over to Firefox refresh and now you can see that it's it's added together 
all of the text um, totally with a space in between. Um, now, obviously, the the arithmetic, the the plus sign, um, it has more than uh, one meaning. It has a arithmetic. It's an arithmetic operator which will plus the left and right sums um, or the values together. Okay, or it can be used as concatenation. Okay, so that's but it does this test um, as well. It checks to see whether it is an arithmetic operator and it needs to add the two values together. If not, it will then work it out as concatenation. Okay, so it does kind of mean the same thing, but it then has two different end results. One is maths and one is then um, concatenation of strings. Now, what if you then wanted, um, then we say age and we say 34. Now this is a um, an integer, okay? Now we can then cat cat concatenate then age equals and do age. Now that seems confusing, right? Because we've got some literal strings here, which is just age, and then plus the age, which is of data type integer. Now, how is this going to translate it? Because it's going to say, wait a minute, I'm going to add the value of 34 to a string. That's not possible, surely. Well, like I said, it does the check. It says, hey, R is the, the value on the left-hand side of the um, the assignment operator, or the arithmetic operator, is the value on the left-hand side an integer, and is the value on the right-hand side an integer? If it is, then it will plus the two together. Okay. If not, then it will just continue to use um, concatenation. All right. So let's then come back over here, and then let's see what comes out. As you can see, we get then 34. Now, if we then put um, age and uh, age 1 equals 4. So we're taking the first character and putting it into age and the second character put into age 1. And then we say age age 1. And now see what happens. Okay, let's come back to Firefox and we still get 34. Okay, but now if we use brackets inside of here which are basically saying hey I, I want you to um, do the brackets first. Okay, do we get then um, arithmetic or do we get c um, concatenation? Okay, now we get seven. All right, so it's basically um, saying, hey, whatever's on the left hand side of me, is it an integer? Yes. Whatever's on the right hand side of me, is this an integer? Yes. It's passed both tests. Now it'll say, right, well, I'm just going to plus the two together. But because it's not with inside of the brackets, um, it's because this is um, continuing on as a string. It knows, wait a minute, I'm building a string here right now. Therefore, it's going to do this one first. Okay, so it's added um, age over to age. Okay, so when we get rid of this once again, let's just explain this to you for building strings. So we've got 34. What happened is it took this assignment operator or, or arithmetic operator and it said, is the value on the left hand side an integer? And he went, no. Is the value on the right hand side an integer? He said, yes. Okay, let's concatenate it. So it's then concatenate these two. Now, this potentially says that if we get rid of this. Now, then it's gone. Is the value on the left hand side an integer? It's gone, no. Is the value on the right hand side an integer? It said, yes. Right, then I'm going to concatenate it. So it's then put four on the end. Okay, so at no point did it ever see that. Um, as uh, any form of math. But when we put brackets, because um, brackets have precedence over um, addition, okay? And um, obviously, there's, a, there's another ruling um, for this of what has precedence. We're not going to talk about it right now. But you know, this is working with strings. Yes, I did talk about concatenation a little bit here, but there's a lot more which you can do with, with concatenation um, than just this. Okay, um, but this is the basic form of it as well. So there we go. Strings um, can hold any characters, okay, as long as they're not um, special characters, as shown with um, the likes of the backslash. Okay, in order to use a backslash as a, a backslash, um, you need to then escape it with another backslash, uh, and so on. Um, but that's the the basic form of it. Okay. Right, that was a long, a long tutorial. I think um, to talk about strings. I hope you got something out of it. Now, you're going to be using strings a lot, all right? So you need to really understand um, how to use quotes, single quotes, concatenation, 
um, what text can go in it, what needs to be escapes, okay, and when you put um, an integer next to um, a literal string, um, what's the end result going to be, okay? How do you um, separate arithmetic and concatenation? So this is something which you really need to take into account. If you have any, um, you have any doubts, put it in brackets. Okay, brackets is the highest form of precedence, therefore it'll always work out the brackets first. Whatever's inside of the brackets, it will do first. Okay, um, that's it. So uh, my name's David Thorne. Thank you for watching. Okay, um, pop over to my YouTube channel if you haven't found it already. Uh, give me any feedback, e any further information um, which you think I could do. I'm always willing. Um, to answer your questions okay all right that's it thanks very much then goodbye